Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Decided to change the drum rollers on your dryer. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a putty knife, a Phillips screwdriver, and a 516 nut driver. Let me show you how easy it is. The very first step to this repair will be to remove the lint screen, which pulls out of the top. Located beneath that are two Phillips screws that we need to remove. The next step will be to depress clips that hold the top cover down. There's one located about an inch in from the right and an inch in from the left. We'll use our putty knife for that. And you may find that you need to pull forward on the top. Now, ideally, we'd like to have a wall to lean that top up against, but if not, Take a cord, fasten it through one of these two screw holes to a point on the cabinet to suspend it in an upright position. Our next step will be to disconnect the harness to the switch. Sometimes these are a little tight, so take your putty knife, just disengage the locking tabs. Then we need to remove the two 5 16 screws, one on each side of the front panel. Now, remove these two 5 16 screws from the front panel. Be careful not to drop them down inside. Now, we'll want to support that front panel as we remove this last screw. And lift the front panel forward and up. We can remove it, set it out of the way. Next, we will need to roll the belt off of the idler so that we can lift the drum out of place. Now, while supporting the drum with one hand, reach in on the right hand side here. You'll notice how that belt comes off the drum, around the motor pulley, back in underneath the idler pulley, and onto the drum. Take note of how that belt is orientated on those two pulleys, because we'll need to know that when we put it back together. Simply roll the belt off the motor pulley. And now we have access. We'll remove the belt from the drum. We take note that the rib side of the belt lays against the drum. Our next step will be to lift the drum off the rear drum rollers. Just pull it forward. Now we have access to the drum rollers. Now we have access to both rear drum rollers. What we need to do first is loosen this 516 screw. You don't have to completely remove it. Next we'll pry that spring clip and bracket off the end of the drum roller shaft. Take our putty knife and we'll pry these triangular clips off of the shaft. And then merely slide the drum roller off. On the right side, all we need to do is take that triangular clip, remove it. Now we're ready to put the new rollers on. Now to reinstall, your drum roller kit came with four of these triangular clips that hold the roller in place on the shaft. Replace the two rear ones, whether they look bad or not. If you have four new ones, you might as well use them. Just slide them on over the shaft. They will probably pop into that first groove and you'll need to lift them out the same as you did to remove them in the first place. There's no front or back to the roller. Slide it on the shaft. Take your triangular retaining clip. Press it into place. Now, reinstall 
the support bracket, slide it over the front of the shaft, we'll take our new spring clip, push on nut. press it onto the shaft. Then we'll retighten the screw. Now, to replace the right rear roller, slide it onto the shaft, and repeat the same procedure. Snap the clip until it drops into the groove on the shaft. And now we're ready to put the drum back in. Before we reinstall the drum, it's a good time to take a look at the rear felt to make sure there's no damage or gaps and that it's in good shape. And this portion of the drum, this little hollow, will sit on top of our rollers on both sides. So we need to make sure those are firmly engaged onto the rollers when we set the drum in place. Now to assist you in putting the drum in place, you can drape the belt around the front portion of that drum, lift it straight in, engage that groove on the back of the drum onto the rollers. Take note to make sure that our felt is flat and in place. Now we're ready for the belt to be installed and our front panel to go on. And keep in mind that the ribbed portion of the belt goes against the drum flat side up. Now to reassemble we want to make sure that the drum hasn't come off of the rear rollers and we'll line the belt up pretty much in line with the motor pulley. We'll take our idler and set it into place. Now we need to support the drum, hold it in an upright position. The easiest way to do that is put your shoulder in underneath of it. Rotate the belt over the top of the roller, in through the opening. A little tension on that idler bracket. And then we'll roll the belt onto the motor pulley. Now, we just align everything up. We'll rotate the drum. At least a full revolution. And now we're ready to put the front panel back. Now, to reinstall the front panel, we need to engage these slots on the front panel with the hook on the cabinet flange. It'll be one on each side. So we'll tuck the front panel in at the bottom. We'll need to raise and tilt back the drum at the same time. Lift up on the front panel till it slides over those hooks and let it drop down into place. Now that we have the bottom hooks in place, we line the drum up, press the front panel back into position and we're ready to put the two retaining screws back in. Reconnect the wire harness to our door switch. And the last thing we want to do before we put the top down is make sure that our felt is laying fat, flat on the rear bulkhead. So we look inside the drum, we want to make sure that that felt is firmly in place and not folded over. That's when there's an area here where it's folded in. We need to push that back out. Careful not to damage it. Rotate the drum and make sure there's no other spots. No, well, it's all good. The last step is to put our top back down. And remove our support device. Make sure there's no wire harnesses to get pinched, line it up over the retaining clips, 
just press down in each corner. Now we'll put the two screws that hold the lint filter in place. Now all that remains to be done is to reconnect the power. Good luck with your repair and thanks for watching.